All right. Right. All right. It's TV time. Yay. So Amazon Prime just released one of their new originals in the form of the TV show The Tick. Now, this isn't a big, long-running series. It's about, what, six episodes? And they're all about a half hour. So more of a mini series, I would well, say. Well, it's, oh. it's a season. It's the first season. And it's it is season. set up to have additional seasons. We'll see if we get additional seasons, though. But so if you don't know what the tick is, this is my first introduction to the tick was actually, uh, I believe, a cartoon. Mm -hmm. There was also a live action show, I believe, around the same time. Um, a little bit after, yeah, about this, in both like 90s ish or, or maybe 2000s a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think one was yeah. in the 90s, one was maybe early 2000s. Maybe, yeah. And, and if the tick is a superhero, I don't remember what city he's in, but this is the world of superheroes. There are superheroes all over the place. And the tick is a superhero with great powers. He can jump, but he's kind of a box of rocks. Um, and then he gets a sidekick. What's his, what's the sidekick's name again? I think I it's the butterfly no, guy. I, I think he is like Mothman in later ones, but they don't call him that. They call him Arthur. In, yeah, Arthur. Through Arthur through the. In the cartoon, maybe, they call maybe him they call him Arthur in the cartoon. Yeah, maybe that is just yeah. his name, but he is essentially a moth man. Yeah, and and the basic dynamic be behind these is you have pretty much uh, not necessarily box of rocks in in the tick, but he's not the smartest guy in the world. And then you have kind of a smarter, more uh, savvy person, but also kind of a scaredy cat in Arthur, and they kind of team up and they fight evil. So. Yes. Yeah, it, it, so far, I'll be full disclosure, I only watched the first two episodes. Brendan did watch the first six. But one, a couple things that stood out to me in this. Number one is the guy who plays the tick. I love his voice. Yes. The most amazing voice. If I could just have that voice, I would be the most happy man in this world. And I think Pretty he fits cool. the the tick voice and just the superhero um, idea yes, so well. The false bravado and, you know, and good citizen. What well, is your no, problem? It, you it's are not false bravado with him. Destiny. It is absolute bravado with him. That's oh, that's the thing. Yeah. And I will say bravado. that is um, one of the, the big points, too, with the tick's character that I thought was great in this portrayal is he is very 100% genuine in – being this this hero character, he mm -hmm. is the embodiment essentially of the ideal um, warrior of justice, right? Yes, and, and like there's this one part in, and I think it's the second or maybe it's at the least first episode. in in, in and, and he's going and he's going through this warehouse and beating up all these bad guys, and he's like, "Don't shoot me, that's foolish!" And people are like shooting him. And one point, it like ricochets off him and blows it up. See, I told you that was your fault. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> And then he opens up like uh, a big, like a uh, slides open a big door and there's all these people like pointing guns at him and they're like, you might not want to do that. And then like, there's more explosions because not that he did anything. They were just shooting him. So yeah. Well, it's yeah. Off of the table. Yeah. And as, as it goes on too, you, you get more of that, but we'll, I'll, like, I can talk a little bit about this further and get into, to that aspect. I will say to just to start out, I also, have only a vague familiarity with the source material. I have not read mm -hmm. the comics. I mm -hmm. s remember vaguely seeing the Tick cartoon show, but I don't remember much from it. I and remember I remember vaguely both that and the live action. But I remember seeing little bits of the of the previous live action. So I knew basically what I came into here knowing is there was the Tick a superhero. He had a sidekick, and there are other superheroes around. And this was not necessarily the most, at least the versions I saw were, were very comical. He's not the most serious mm -hmm. one and he's not necessarily super smart. That's yeah. basic, but only very vague notions. Having said that, as someone that came in, you shouldn't need to know the source material to enjoy a good show adaptation of something. And I think you do not need to know it. I don't know. Nice. Maybe you butchers the, the source material, whatever. I had a good time with this. And I'll tell you why I had a good time with this from the really from the start. So we're presented with this world and they do a very quick introduction to the world as something where in the turn of the uh, the 20th century. Superhero showed no, up. It's, superhero showed up way earlier than and, that, wasn't it? No, I think it was like, like 1908. Um, it, okay. was they, it was when they said the first superhero. All right, but you um, said turn of the century. That's the wrong century. The turn of the twentieth century, Brian. You said turn of the century. I said not... I said turn of the well, whatever. Fine. It's the turn of the twentieth century. You guys can comment down below what I said before. Sure. <laughs> In any case, uh, Superior Man shows up. 
The Tick introduces this. You get his voice and you get a little bit of his personality early voice. on. Best where, voice since H. John Benjamin. Him even saying like, oh, I'm not even in this yet. And it's just like. Yeah. This isn't about touches, me yet. Which is great to introduce that so this is not super serious and introduce the main character when you're not going to see him for a while. Because otherwise you might be saying like, where's the Tick? Who's the Tick? Um, is this a serious take? Because they actually present it somewhat serious for a while uh, it's not a very colorful depiction of this world you see a guy who's going through a pretty bad life uh to start out after you see the their initial superhero which again i think they did a great job just very quickly introducing you to this world that there is superheroes there is superior man or whatever mm-hmm. his name and is. villains and everything like that and they, yeah. yeah without yeah, dwelling yeah, on character, it they give it a pretty they give it pretty... like a couple minutes um, and that's all you need. They yeah. they did enough. They they set it up enough, which is nice that they didn't drag out the exposition. And and that's that's a nice bit, particularly because what's going to, you start where you start is not with the tick again. You start with really Arthur, and yeah. you don't know who Arthur is. You don't know a lot about him. I think they did a good job at giving you little hints at who he is, um, starting out and even playing you into his mindset. Uh, mm. Well, he is a storyteller. He is the this is he's, it's told, the story is told from his point of view. Yeah, it, it's it's the story is told about him, which is a little unusual, but it does play into this idea that they do for a few episodes of. You don't know whether Arthur is going to be the sidekick. You don't know whether Arthur is is the tick is going to turn into the tick because he hasn't shown up for a little while. You don't know if Arthur's crazy and has visions of the tick. And he even mentions that at one point, like he d- decides at some points, maybe I'm the tick because no one else has seen the tick, but he keeps doing all these things. Maybe I'm crazy. I must be the tick. Uh, um, but they clear that up. It's like, no, he's not the tick. He, he is this other character. Good, good. You just ruined it for everybody. Spoiler alert before you do that. Brendan. Spoiler well, Brian, alert. they're, they're show- seeing the review. Now, if you're familiar with the source material, you already know Arthur's not the tick. So well, yeah, not, I mean, yeah, it's not a huge reveal. They do it in the first like couple episodes. But I think I think my favorite part about this show so far is the dynamic between Tick and Arthur. Just almost because if you put them together, because Arthur's kind of a he's a nerdy, a little bit scaredy, but he does have a really strong sense of justice. And the and Tick he's very is fearless. Smart is the thing. Yeah, and, and, and practical yeah. too. He's very and practical. practical with the world. He is not detached yeah. from the world the same way yeah. the Tick and other the people are. Is. He is trying to be a normal guy. Yeah. And in fact. He has a quirkiness about him that has given him problems before, so he, that he's battling during this. And the tick is encouraging yeah. him, like, no, don't, don't try to do that. That's that's one of the big parts of the story too, which I would say is both good because it's a central part, and you get um, the development there, but it does also drag on a bit because that's the thing. This show turns out like it doesn't dwell too much on the origins of superheroes here, mm-hmm. but it does dwell on. Essentially, this is this season is Arthur's origin story, rather than the mm-hmm. ticks. You actually don't know what's going on with the tick throughout. Uh, you just know he what, kind of pops up. You know he's there, and the fact that he doesn't even seem to know where he came from looks like it's going to be a thread that that comes out uh, later. Comes up, yeah. But it is the but the whole first season is about Arthur, his battle to towards becoming a hero towards accepting it whether he will accept becoming a hero and his re- developing relationship with the tick and the tick and incur- the tick seeing something in him the heroic mm-hmm. nature in him and trying to bring it out and, and honestly like i almost feel like if you smash these two people together that they would make the perfect superhero like and, the absolute perfect and, and it's almost know, like they split them up in fact and that, one of the trends that they're trying to say is that they're trying to get across that they together, these guys should be a team together. And the tick sees that immediately. That's the other oh, thing. Like the yeah. tick is like, it's your destiny is not. Yeah. God, the tick is not a very was. smart guy, such a great, but as a, but he is the ideal hero and heroics guy. Like he talks about how destiny talks to him and you start <laughs> believing it. Cause he knows he's very aware that he is not the smart man. And he even says, I'm not the idea, man. I am not the, uh, the figure outer guy. I'm the go do things. Yeah, actually, mm-hmm. he says I am the 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 strength and everything else of the heroics. You're the guy that I need you though to be the brains and to tell me what to do. And that comes up over and over. And he has one of the honestly one of my favorite lines too. I'll say is uh, 
he meets Arthur at one point and says, you know, I was going out to figure out this, this villain situation, and I realized I'm not very good at this. What I need is your brains and a voice box to express those, those brain thoughts to me, and I realized you have both those things. <laughs> <laughs> You have what I want, so. But I, I just, I, I think overall, like, my overall impression of this was, I, it's good. I'm going to continue yeah. watching it. If that scene and, 2 hadn't come out, I would have finished it. Um, but it, it is very good. Uh, Brendan, what's your overall impression on it? I, I, I think it was very good. I think you're going to very much fall in love with the characters. I think actually it's something that if you have were reluctant to watch it, didn't think about watching it, go watch it. Just just do it. it. You'll have a good time. Um, at least if you're a fan of superhero things the way most people are that would watch our show and want something slightly different take, um, that's generally a feel-good um, show, th- this is it. This this hits all, all the things right. Uh, I-, I was actually surprised at how good this was. So. so our official thing is say, go watch it. Go do it. You want to. But hit us up. Let us know. Have you seen it yet? Uh do you think you will watch it now if you haven't? Hit us up, comments down below, of course, at What's My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of